Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Lombardo and I'm the principal horn of the Battle Creek Symphony. I'm originally from New York City, but I'm currently living in Cincinnati, where I'm earning my master's degree at the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music. And today I'm going to talk to you about the French horn. The French horn is actually part of both the woodwind and brass family. That means it can function in both a wind quintet with flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon, as well as a brass quintet with trumpets, trombone, and tuba. This makes the French horn a very versatile instrument and gives us plenty of fun repertoire to learn. Now, assembling the French horn is rather easy. You simply put the mouthpiece on the lead pipe and you're ready to go. Now, I personally have a detachable bell, but you can choose to have your bell fixed or not. It makes no difference in sound quality, it's simply for convenience. Just like with all brass instruments, in order to make a sound on the French horn, you must first buzz into the mouthpiece, like so. I know it sounds kind of funny, but once you attach the mouthpiece to the horn, it makes a much more beautiful sound. Now, in order to hold the French horn, we play the valves with our left hand, unlike the trumpet that is played with the right hand. And we put our right hand inside of the bell. I will explain a little later the history behind why we put our right hand inside of the bell. Now I play a double French horn, which means I have three valves as well as a thumb trigger. As you can see, I have two sets of tubing. This first set of tubing is called the F side, and this second set of tubing is called the B flat side. Pressing the thumb valve, will access the second set of tubing. Most students or beginners will start on a single French horn, which only has the first set of tubing or the F side and does not have the B flat side or the extra thumb valve. Now, after a few years of playing a single French horn, a student will switch to a double French horn and most people will stick to a double French horn for the rest of their career. Um, but some professionals will switch to what is called a triple French horn, which has a second thumb valve and has a third set of tubing. Now, I know it sounds kind of confusing adding the thumb valve and adding the extra tubing when you're a beginner, but it actually makes it much easier to play in the extremes of the register. In fact, one of the greatest things about the French horn is its wide register. The horn can play as high as a trumpet, and as low as a tuba. The horn can also play very loud and aggressive. As well as very soft and mellow. can be dated all the way back to the year 1200 to when ram's horns and other animal horns were used for hunting. Then in the late 1600s and early 1700s, the horn was first used for musical purposes in an orchestral setting. Now at this point, the horn did not yet have valves. So in order to change the pitch on the French horn, a player had to use a combination of what is called the harmonic series, as well as opening and closing their hand inside of the bell to bend the pitch. A horn player would also have to attach crooks to the horn in order to change the key. Crooks are basically just extra tubing. So not only would a horn player have to carry around their French horn everywhere, but they would also have to carry around a small suitcase full of crooks. I will now play a melody for you, combining the harmonic series and stopped horn technique. <laughs> I was able to play all of those pitches without pressing down any of the valves. You could also hear very clearly when I bent the pitch using my right hand, as it had a very sharp nasally sound. Although we do not use our right hand anymore to change the pitch, it greatly affects intonation and sound quality. Some composers will purposely ask for stopped horn, purely for its muted sound effect. By the early 1900s, the horn had finally developed valves. In fact, the valve was inspired by pistons that were used on trains during the Industrial Revolution. 
the valve horn is most similar to the horn that we play today. If you choose to play the French horn, you will certainly have a lot of solos in orchestra and band. In fact, some of the most famous horn solos can be heard in our favorite movies. Let's see if you can guess where this melody is from. I'll give you a little hint. If you want to hear more of the French horn live in concert and live in the Battle Creek area, check out our season for next year at yourmusiccenter.org symphony. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.